Welcome, this is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Zen Tangle Teacher. And today's tangle is hugs. H-U-G-S, not Huggins, just hugs, by Sarah Harrison. And uh, she's done a beautiful job. I did it on one of my um, partial, because uh, as you see, I saw the doctor today and I have some carpal tunnel and then also elbow and then some in my neck and um, so I'm handicapped when it comes to drawing um, but I'm going to draw today and so hugs um, she says this pattern would even make a great string and a great great for using tools like rounding and sparkle <clears throat> she's done it some freehand and I've done it some freehand so I am going to this one I hadn't finished because I when I came back from the doctor I had a hard time drawing and so and actually neither one of them are finished but I'm going to do it on a bookmark and these are some narrow bookmarks that I was watercoloring on and you can see I had some fun watercoloring and just getting ready. Ooh, that one looks like it might be fun to, oh, we're going to do it on that one because that has some little squares that I think we can tangle in. And I am going to use an 05 pen today because my grip is a little different. And um, so I think that that will be good. And I'm going to do freehand. You can do this in a grid. And this pattern is available on um, PatternTangles.com, so you can look it up, Hugs. But I'm just going to start out up here at the top, and I am just going to do kind of a rounded... So it's kind of rounds out in a square shape, so it's kind of like a pinwheel. So you can see that it's kind of rounded out. And I'm going to come in. Oh, my camera is a little off balance today. I might have to lower the little thing and see if I can't get it a little more balanced. So there we have it. Woo! My tiles just kind of... And now we're just going to start up here. And we're going to do some kind of step down rounded um, shapes and then come back on it like that and I want it to be fairly straight across so I'm going to look at the edge of my tile oh this is awkward with this brace on here and I'm going to go down and then that's going to come in like that Wow, we'll see how I do with, and you can see that I rotate it as I go. And she said it just looked like puffy little hugs. And I'm so desperate for hugs um, from people that, uh, I, I fell in love with this. Isn't that just just beautiful? And I'm going to do another one, and I'm going to try to do it so that it comes in the center of that light spot. And then I like to rotate as I do it because then I can get that kind of, it's if you look at it, it's kind of a small S-curve, but I do it in four strokes. Rotate. And they kind of can hug, look like little pillows. I'm going to be handicapped for a while. I get to wear this until we decide what they need to do for it. I'm going to do some physical therapy and 
Then I have some more tests run in, in May. So, but you can see, aren't those just beautiful little pillows? And so I like to, you know, they can be freehand. You can do them as large as you want or as small. They can do a little holly bar if you get close. But since I'm just having it step down and I want to keep it as straight as possible, I'm not going to have any holly bar behind that because I am doing it on a bookmark that I watercolored. I am considering doing a live class on um, doing some watercolor background bookmarks. And so if you can let me know what you think, if that's a waste of time, you already know how to do this technique, which is fairly easy. And I will, I'm, I'm considering doing a little kit so you have all everything together. Um, not sure at this point. Beans that I found out I'm a little handicapped. And so you can see that kind of a spidery shape. And then we just do these little puffs of hugs in there. That one kind of came down in the center. You know, and I think you could just really play with this and get some really fun looks. Oh, on my next one, I'm going to try something that I just think might work. But you can see that it's it's really got some um, some potential in in a border, and um, I could keep going on, but I'm just going to come back and and um, I think this could just do for some little rounding here in these. Um, these corners. This pen is a little big for rounding, but you can see you can give that a little thicker look. And and I'm, you know, always into doing some orbs. My orbs are a little handicapped today, too. And usually, if I'm doing an orb, I like to start on a line and then come around so I don't have a start and stop point. And I like to make my orbs um, different sizes. So that's just one way of enhancing that is with some orbs. <clears throat> and I'm going to stop here. And I'm going to, um, you know, look at, I've got a kelp green pencil. And I'm going to do a little shading in here with a green pencil. So I'm just going to put some green down along that curved line. And then I'm going to pick up a shading stump. Oh, excuse my arm. I'm going to get my wad of used shading stumps. I keep a lot and let them dry out. Now I'm going to clean it off so I don't have any color on there. And then I'm going to come in with my odorless paint thinner and I'm going to 
shade with a little colored pencil on that watercolor. So just because I, you know, I could come in with watercolor, but I can also come in with something I can control. And I feel like I can really control the colored pencil. Now, even coming in and putting a little bit more color in the in the circles is a fun thing to do. And oh voila, I love to put some gold jelly roll in here because it just pops out also. So you can lay down that gold jelly roll and you're just creating some really fun looks. And I honestly think that this in between here that I might just color this in all the way. Not just rounding, but just color that in in between. It's hard to hold on to your... I have to grip my pen a little different with this brace on here. I really like to have some drama and that's what that black does is gives you some drama. So um, also coming back in here and giving a little drama on some of the circles or filling in behind those little circles in the tertices that you see. Hey, I think I said it right this time. Sometimes I don't often say that right. But you can see how that is going to just make a really fun little bookmark with just some little different um, techniques. And, um, of course, you know, it's really nothing new. And... Um, and on this one, I I did it with, um, I did some purple, and then I also am doing my um, my flowers, FOF, Field of Flowers, yeah, FOF, with a purple micron. So um, I just, instead of using black, sometimes I'll go in here and I will just... You know, use a different color of micron pen just to give my um, tangle a little bit different look. And there you have Hugs H U G S by Sarah Harrison. And um, it, uh, it was a delight to do. I just think that that is a beautiful tangle. Lots of fun. Has lots of potential. And I'm having a way wonderful time coloring on my little narrow. I think these bookmarks are like one and a half by seven so they're a little bit different size and uh, you know they're just fun to color on and I'm gonna keep going so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe new videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays and you just never know what's gonna pop up because we love Zentangle thanks again and have a great day